Hello Chucks, we're going to have a look up, it's a fun with a birdhouse project today. Now don't forget on the website we've got many, many, many different kinds of projects and uh, different uh, birdhouse projects as well. This is project one. Now I'm going to show you all the papers that you can download and use in this project, but you can use the templates with any papers that you want and create a kind of a pastel one or a tartan one. But this one we've got a kind of a, a wood effect one. And let me just run through the papers that you're going to get. Have a look at these. You're getting the template, you're getting the template comes out so you can print it out onto a piece of card and use it as a template but if you kind of ruin that piece of card uh, to draw around etc then you can just print another one out so once you've got the download do it as many times as you like you're going to get the main design in three different sizes like this and there's your small one that'd make great little bird houses on cards or scrapbooking or what about making the hole a bit bigger make a great picture frame on a scrapbook with uh, maybe the family like the birds of the family then you've got all the other sections of the birdhouse there ready to cut out and use as templates as many times as you like and because you've got the ability to print them out as many as, as often as you like onto acetate or thick card whichever you prefer now in this particular project i've also given you the templates these are all ready to cut out and use straight away these are all the wood effects that we've got for the birdhouse you've got that and you've also got the large wood effect there we also give you the a4 size as well so you can print out different shaped bird houses if you want to do like a wood effect on this one we've got this beautiful decoupage as well but if you can see that up close and personal you can really see that design of that bird and you've got the flying bird there so we're going to use that in the project as well but if you should need some extra things we've got this that you can download the lovely uh, planks of wood you've got that wood effect there as well then you've also got this wood effect You've got the bark as well. Now we're going to put this house, this birdhouse on a, like as if it's on the side of a tree. So you're also going to get that wonderful effect there with the bark of the tree. Now what you've got to do first of all is take your templates that you're going to use, print them out and then cut them out. And I've got them here. Here's an example here of the templates cut out and the different colours so it helps you know exactly what goes where. So you've got your, start with your blue one. And then your greens would go over the top there like that. And then you've got your pink ones, which are the next stage of the template, which will go over like that. And you can use that template on any combination of papers or cards that you want, whether it's wood like we're using now, or you can use pastel colours or uh, intricate floral designs, whatever you want, whatever you want. But on this one, I've already done this with, the, with this set. Now, I've taken say for example this piece of wood here the wood effect now you are going to get them already cut to size in your download but if you want to use a use a template to cut some more out than that just turn it over know exactly where it is and if you turn it over turn that over as well and just draw around it or if you do from the front always make sure you go around the template with the colored side up and if you use a pencil to go around that you can just rub any out and all you've got to do is cut the shape out so Cut all your pieces out ready, and I'll just show you those now before I start assembling them. These ones have already cut out there, and I've put some double-sided foam pads on the back there, so it just gives it a little bit of lift. And I've also used these ones here, I've used a different wood here, and a darker wood for the main parts of the design there. So all my bits and pieces for the house is there, cut out, and they're on some uh, release paper there with double-sided foam pads on the back. Now what I want you to do is also print out the bark effect. The bark effect. That just looks like this birdhouse is on the side of a, of a um, tree. So there's the bark effect. And what I've taken here now, you can take any card that you want. I've got a nice bronzy coloured card here. Now I've taken two sheets of that. There's two sheets. But what I've done, I've actually taken this sheet here and just look, finding a natural crack. I've gone along there, just cut it with a pair of scissors, going all the way along there, following that line, and then on one piece of card like that, I've just stuck it down on here. I've left an edge there, so which bends over, so you've got that. And then on the opposite side, I'll just turn this over, you can see. So that is your one piece like that, joined up. And as you can see, I've just cut it out of the gold card and left a little border all the way around. Now all I've got to do now 
is stick that onto the back. Those two pieces of card together like that, so it'll form my card. So I already put some double-sided tape on the back here, and I'm just going to lift that off. There you go, like that. And then all you've got to do is turn that over, make sure you get it the right way around. So that's going to go that way, like that. You can see how that marries up nicely to there. Turn that over, and then just wedge that in like that, so it's nicely lined up. Make sure it's perfectly in the right place, and then just fold that over and stick that down. And then you've got your card ready to decorate. There's your card. It looks like a bark of a tree, but then you can peel the bark back, and inside there you can put a, a message, anything you want, or you might even want to put a little nest in there with some eggs in it, and maybe write on the eggs happy birthday or whatever, or this would be good ones for people who are moving house or something like that. So there's the basis of my card, you can see that. You've got the bark of the tree and you can see where it opens up there. Now, all I've got to do is start adding my house, my birdhouse. And obviously you start from back to front and this one's got the foam pads already on the back. So then you've just got to decide where you want it. And I'm just going to position it round about, I think I'll lift it up a little bit round about there and it's just overlapping slightly where the card opens up there so you've got a little bit of the tree and the little bit of the roof of the birdhouse just coming over now if you wanted to i've just left the bark there but if you wanted to you could put another piece of paper on there or you could put a little bit of kind of shiny silver so it reflects or a picture or anything you want or you could have like if you did a, a different design you could have like a little bird popping out of there so that's what I've done anyway. Now all I've got to do is take my other pieces, which I've already cut out, and just layer these over the top. So again, I've just got them all prepared because you don't want to see me cutting out and just putting sticky pads on the back, do you? No, I didn't think so. So all you've got to do is carefully, and if you stand up and look up right down, straight down over the top of it, you'll be able to line it up much better than I'm doing here. And I hope my head doesn't get in the way. And then just stick the top down there so you already you've got that nice effect there of the roof on the top of the house. Then I'm using the same coloured wood, which you can download and print out and do this as many times as you want. And don't forget, you've got the three different sizes as well. So you can make all sorts of different houses. There's the bottom piece going on the next, and that's going there. This gives you a lovely wooden effect. So there you go, that's nice. That looks nice as it is, doesn't it? So you can just see that, how beautiful that is. And you can see, well, that's, that's a nice little bijou place, or a birdjou place. If it was bijou, it'd be for bees, wouldn't it? It'd be a hive then, wouldn't it? So now we've got the, what do they call this? The roof, I suppose? I was going to say the eaves, but I don't think that's right. Then this is finally going over the top there. So again, I've got some double-sided pads just to lift it slightly. And don't press it down too much at the beginning in case you've got it in the wrong position. You just want to be able to move it round slightly and then just stick that down. Now all these pieces, you could decorate these as well. You could rub a stamp onto them as well, couldn't you? And do some gold or what have you. And then we've also got the bottom part of the house here, and that's going to just stick on the bottom there like that. And there you've got the birdhouse card almost finished, and that just opens up like so. There you go. Now the only thing that's missing from that is a bird. A bird or two. So there's my birdhouse, there's my card. And this would be really good. I mean, maybe you could put a little sentiment. I'm not going to overdo this one because I'm going to leave you to have your own little bit of creativity as well. So you can embellish it more. You might have some wood chips. You might have the odd beetle on here or a fly. But I'm going to stick some birds on here. And as you saw earlier on, I've already got my birds cut out here, the decoupage, and already with the foam pads on the back, uh, ready to stick down. Now this one, I'm going to position on the front. Now I've left the twig on this because there's no reason why a twig can't be attached here coming out of that. So I'm just going to stick that down. I'm going to leave a little bit of the uh, the hole in the tree there, in the tree house, and just stick that down like that. So there's the first part of my birdhouse with the bird on. And you can see there, now you could have left it at that if you want, but you know me. I do like to embellish more, and I've got the step-by-step -step decoupage parts here that can go over the top, so there's the next part of the bird, and it's just giving that lovely 3D look. Now, I'll just position that one exactly where it is, and that sticks down there like that, and then finally on that part of the bird, um, I'm going to stick just the wing down, and that fits on 
just there like that. So you've got that really nice effect there of the bird and you can see the 3D layering there. Now you could use silicon glue there if you wanted to, but already you've got a really nice little bird on there. And finally, I have another bird, don't I? The smaller bird. Now because this is looks, it looks smaller, it looks like it's, if you put them close together, it looks like a baby one, wouldn't it? Well, it could be. But I'm going to put this one just in the top left-hand corner here, like it's flying past going, hmm, that looks rather nice, that little bijou place down there. I think I might go and see if there's any room in there. But fly on, sunshine, because it's already taken. Um, and just pop that over the top. And again, I'm just layering this up like so and just so if you stand up and look down over the top you'll be able to get it more accurately than i'm doing and finally i've got the final piece here let's just press that down so it's not bulging up i've got a wing now there you go that's the card as far as i'm going to take it but you can add all sorts of things onto this what about some dried moss or some decoupage flowers or getting lots of different kind of um, ivies Ivy's cut those out and layer them. What about silk flowers, silk, silk leaves, all that kind of thing. So there's my birdhouse. Have a look at that. And I'm sure you'll be able to make something similar to that. And don't forget, you get all the pieces so you can make them in three different sizes if you want. And you can make a birdhouse just like that.